<coughs> All right, so yeah, three cylindrical coordinates. Let's first talk about those since I don't believe we have quite yet. Yeah, cylindrical coordinates are the 3D <coughs> coordinate system. Um, similar to the two-dimensional <coughs> polar coordinate system. <laughs> and the reason we mention it here is because sometimes cylindrical coordinates make it easier to do triple integrals, some triple integrals. <coughs> um, and basically, so we've got the polar coordinate system, which is, uh, you know, for a point here, we call it R theta, which R is what? Or x squared plus y squared equals R squared, right? And then uh, the tangent of theta is equal to x over y, or y over x. Okay, well, <clears throat> we go to three-dimensional cylindrical coordinates, they call them. All right, so we're still going to come out, um, <clears throat> and theta is measured from the positive x-axis, right? That's how we get our theta reference uh, from the positive uh, x-axis. And so that's still going to be that's still going to be our theta in the x y plane. Um, say we're going here and then up to this point. So we're looking at that point up here in space. All right. Well, <clears throat> what you need to know then is is this angle that's theta. You need to know this, which is r, right? Just like this is in polar coordinates, that's R. And then that's Z. So that's the good thing about it. Really, you're just adding to R and theta, you're just adding how high from the XY plane it is or how far below it is. So that's really, that's really it. <coughs> and so if we, um, this point then, we call it R theta Z. All right? And so, if we want to go from uh, r theta z to the x, y, z, the x, so I've got r theta z, I want x, y, z, I just know x would be r cosine theta, <coughs> y equals r sine theta, and z, it's z, okay. <coughs> So that'll give us uh, those. Now, if we have an x, y, z, the rectangular coordinates, um, <coughs> how do we go to uh, r theta z? Same equation, yeah. We've got x squared plus y squared equals r squared. The tangent of theta equals y over x. And then nothing uh, spectacular about z, z is z. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So, just to get used to it or see, uh, it's a little. I mean, it's not too terribly bad, but it's a little. It's a little different. Yeah. I mean, a little. It takes a little more thinking as normally does in three dimensions. Yeah. All right. So let's plot our point. Uh, Three, two thirds, two. That's in cylindrical. Uh, and find the rectangular coordinates. I believe that's the way they they ask it here. Yeah. <coughs> All right. So X Y Z. Uh, 
all right, so this is cylindrical, so this is R, this is theta, and this is Z. So the R is 3, and theta is 2 pi over 3. Well, <clears throat> kind of have to start with that, don't you? Theta is 2 pi over 3, and so it's from the positive x-axis, and so which way would be uh, positive 2 thirds pi? Yeah, so we'd go around, and it would be past this, because that would be pi over 2, right? And so we're going to go a little bit further. It's a uh, pi over 3 reference angle, so it's 60 degrees this way from it. And so, yeah, it's two-thirds of the way. Yeah, okay. All right, and so that gives me uh, my theta. The R is 3, so I'd go 3 units out. 1, 2, 3, let's say that's 3. <clears throat> and then the Z is 2, so we'd go up 2 from that and they usually uh, kind of make a right angle there to, so that'd be close to two. <clears throat> All right, so we want x, y, z. So x is r cosine theta, so it'd be three cosine two pi over three. I uh, believe cosine of 2 pi over 3 is, yeah, we're in quadrant, in the xy plane, we're in quadrant 2, so that'd be negative cosine, right? It'd be negative 3 halves, yeah. The y would be uh, 3 times sine of theta. So that'd be 3 times the square root of 3 over 2. And then, of course, Z is Z. Okay. So you've got <coughs> the point in rectangular would be th negative 3 halves, positive 3, square root of 3 over 2, and 2. Which seems to be, uh, seems to be right, doesn't it? Because, yeah, I would go at back negative 1 and a half, and then over... Positive three square root of three over two y, and then up to yeah, that makes sense. All right. <coughs> and let's do one the one the other way. Find uh, cylindrical coordinates. For six negative five three, <clears throat> the x y z is six negative five and three. So we know that um, how do we get r? R is uh, we got r squared equals x squared plus y squared. And so R would be the square root of that, uh, 36 plus 25, square root of 61. <laughs> All right, then we've got uh, the tangent of theta is Y over X, so that would be negative 5 sixths. You have to be careful on that to get it, uh, <coughs> to get in the right spot because you know, your inverse tangent, sometimes that just gives you a uh, reference angle. Now, this, <coughs> if I do the, uh, tangent inverse of negative 5 over 6, what does that give me, approximately? Negative 0.69? Is that going to be right? Well, if you think about it in the x y plane here, we've just got 6 and negative 5. And so, is that is that right for that quadrant? A negative 0.69? I think so, because that would be saying that. Uh, <coughs> yeah, that, gives, that does give us a quadrant 4 angle. That's a quadrant 4 angle. Because the tangent inverse gives it between 
uh, negative pi over 2 and positive pi over 2. If it had been in quadrant uh, 3, then we'd have to make a little adjustment to the tangent inverse, but yeah. Negative 39 degrees, so yeah, that <coughs> we can call that theta. You, you see what I'm saying? If, if, if we'd been over here for theta, if we needed theta in this quadrant, then we'd have to adjust this to be uh, to be a quadrant three somehow. But now you seen what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Now, the other point to this is that's that's only one possibility for theta. What else could we do? Well, we could do that angle plus 2 pi, right? We could go around, uh, so add 2 pi or subtract 2 pi. So there's infinitely many possibilities for theta. We just pick one, I guess. Uh, <coughs> and so then our cylindrical coordinates then would be r, square root of 61, theta, which, you know, if you write it, exact value would be... Uh, If you wanted the exact value for theta, that would be it, approximate in radians. And then um, z is z, so something like that.